Another day, another Spider-Man No Way Home update. This is becoming like a common occurrence. We are getting new pictures or articles every day and yet we still don't have the second trailer. What's up everybody, it's your boy TJ and today we're gonna be reacting to a video from the Cosmic Wonder. They are breaking down new Spider-Man No Way Home images. They're gonna talk about the Empire Magazine article. It's like we're going through the same shit over and over again while we wait for this trailer. Our mind is going crazy. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I did see that Sony is going to release the Raimi trilogy and Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 in 4K, I believe the first week of November. So you know what that means, right? I mean, they're, obviously they're gonna be in the movie because why would they release this shit in 4K? Oh my God, I'm going crazy talking about No Way Home. But all jokes aside, it is pretty cool that they are releasing the Raimi trilogy and Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 in 4K. You know, that'll look dope on the big screen. So that's awesome. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive into the video. On everybody, it's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things. I love that magazine MCU. cover. Today, the article for Empire magazine officially came Halle out the Berry. one that we've been talking about for about a week now and with that new article comes four brand new photos for spider-man no way home and a little bit of information about the movie now it's nothing really really big however toby mcguire and andrew garfield's names are in the article Look at doc and they are teased so much like the other day, toby and andrew teased in the article today, okay i'm going to break it all down and of course if you love spider-man and the mcu be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos and so you can enter to win a spider-man bring variant arts action figure it's super cool and all you got to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my other channel cosmic culture leave some comments on some videos so let's sort of walk through these photos one by one before we dive into some things that the article says because i know the photos are what i love that image right here of doc ock uh it's very reminiscent to what he did to toby in spider-man 2 it looks like he's about to crush his skull um i'm sure that this probably might be you know why he gets the new suit from Doctor Strange because Doc Ock is probably going to fuck up this costume right here. Everybody enjoys. And let's start with this one of Doc Ock because I truly think that it is the most interesting for a few reasons here. It's red and one, gold. A photo was released yesterday where Doc Ock was holding up Spider-Man. Now, yesterday he only had two arms holding him up. One was wrapped around him and the other was holding his head. Now, this is probably the same scene. The background is a little bit different. It looks like they could be under the bridge instead of on top of the bridge, but we do see a car webbed up. Before we get into that, um, I know I was very critical of Alfred Molina and how he looked in the trailer. I do like how he looks in this picture. It looks less cartoony and less CGI, so... I just wanted to add that to the right of Alfred Molina's Doc Ock. Now we've obviously seen the photo of Doc Ock throwing the cars and as I predicted, Spider-Man was probably running to try and save some of the cars by webbing them up and making sure that they don't fall off the bridge. It looks like he was pretty successful in that part. Oh, However, yep, right it looks there. like he has his work cut out for him with Doc Ock and I've actually been told something kind of specific about this photo. If you look closely to his arms, you can actually see that he has some red in his arms. Now, what I've been yeah, told looks like red and gold. is that these are actually nanobots, and it looks like they could be from Tom Holland's nanotechnology iron spider suit. Now, that's all of the information that I could get, unfortunately, but if you do take a look closely, they do kind of look like it could be from Tom Holland's nano suit. So now a few questions arise because of this. One, why? Two, who exactly did this? Now, the article mentions that they are bringing villains over from the Sam Raimi universe. Obviously, Doc Ock is confirmed as we're getting all of these pictures and saw him in the trailer. However, just because he's from the Raimi universe doesn't exactly mean it's the exact same Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2. Perhaps he comes from a timeline where he actually defeated Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and he lived and he went on and perhaps he could have developed some nanotechnology himself. In fact, I actually think it would be pretty dang cool if his arms were nanotech so could this be something that doc ock is doing he does look like he is fully in control with the red nanotech on his tentacles but it could also be something that spider-man tried to do did he try to deploy some of his suit on doc ock to try and fight him could he have tried to put his own nanotech on his tentacles to try and control the arms because i can definitely see how that could be a tactic however judging by this photo i don't think it's really working so i hope it's not a doc ock from like a different 
well, I guess I guess it is a different universe, but I want it to be the Doc Ock that we've seen from Spider-Man 2, the one that lost his wife and the one that was about to get killed. I liked the idea of the rumor that all these villains are getting pulled from their respective universes right before they die. I want to see the characters that we've known already as how we left them. I think if anything, it probably gives Doc Ock a little bit more strength. And who knows, we know that Peter is going to go through a few different suits in Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, there's a Perhaps bunch of them. Doc Ock actually takes the nanotech from his suit and puts them on his tentacles. We have no idea what type of technology Doc Ock is going to have when he comes into Spider-Man No Way Home, but perhaps it could be pretty advanced. And I actually think this would be a cool initial encounter. Doc Ock kind of just completely overpowering Spider-Man to where he needs some help, AKA the other two Spider-Men. Now, another picture that we have is of Spider-Man and it appears that he is in the basement of the New York Sanctum. Three things about this photo that I noticed. One is that there's- So someone on Twitter actually did a side-by-side -side comparison of this picture and a Lego set, which is supposed to be the basement of Doctor Strange, uh, his sanctum. And when you put them side by side, it does look very similar. So I'm willing to bet that. Seems to be sort of two parts to this basement. One part behind him looks like it has furniture. It looks like it's kind of a lounge area. And the part in front of him where he's standing kind of looks like it's all made out of rock. It actually looks like the place where Doctor Strange does the spell. That's the second thing I noticed. But Peter Parker oh, I did not in his Spider-Man suit here. And when we saw him in the trailer, he was not in his Spider-Man suit when Doctor Strange did the spell. This leads me to believe that this is going to be after he does the spell and perhaps the villains could have broken out of the prison right here. This could be after Spider-Man and Doctor Strange fight. Because as rumor has it right now, Doctor Strange and Peter fight and that's what releases the villains. Now, the last thing I noticed is the staircase hmm. in the background. Never heard that one. The staircase is actually where Peter, MJ, and Ned were when we got our very first photo for Spider-Man No Way Home of the three of them. Oh, wow. The mysterious <laughs> figure. This looks like the exact same place. So the mysterious figure could be Doctor Strange. However, at this point in time, Peter probably ran into him already. So could it actually be another Spider-Man coming from a different universe? That's something I'm very curious to see because they want us to believe that they're looking at Doctor Strange and typically when Marvel wants us to believe something, it's because it's something else. But we'll have to wait and see until the movie comes out. Now, there's two more photos, and there's not really that much to them to look into. One is of Doctor Strange. He's standing there with his arms crossed. He has a sling ring in his hand, and he has a cut on the side of his face. We can maybe assume that him and Peter just got done fighting, and the villains broke out, and possibly that scratch came from Peter or one of the villains. Again, it's just a picture of him in front of the sanctum with nothing his arms too crazy. crossed, which means he's nothing probably crazy. pretty upset about something. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is after the fight and after the villains get out, but again, it's just a picture of him standing there, so it's really hard to tell and for the last photo we've kind of seen this before and we know the context of the situation we've seen so many different angles of this one specific scene i'm sure it's going to open the movie you know the cops are going to look for spider-man because he's wanted for killing mysterio like the fact that we've seen so many different angles of this one scene it's like you might as well just drop the whole fucking scene already this is pretty much right after the events of spider-man far from home's post credit scene MJ is with Peter and they're very, very high. It looks like they were on top of some type of scaffolding or really big construction equipment. It looks like Peter grabbed MJ and kind of took off a little bit, but then the helicopter starts surrounding them. He's wearing the exact same suit that he was in the post credits of Far From Home and so is MJ. She's wearing the exact same clothes. So we pretty much know exactly what the scene is. Now, like I did, Empire Magazine did talk a little bit about Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Here we of course, go. They did not confirm anything. They're not going to confirm something that big in an Empire magazine article. What did they I'll say? Tell you what they said. Now, first off, there's that they shot did again. Kind of address other rumors like Jamie Foxx returning as Electro, and of course Sandman and the Lizard returning as well. But all they really said was these are rumors going around. <sighs> Well, yeah, no kidding, there are rumors going around. And just saying that there are rumors is not confirming or denying, so it's a great response, but it doesn't tell us anything at all. But then they go and talk about other rumors, like Kristen Dunst possibly returning, Emma Stone possibly returning, and then they give us this paragraph. And most seismically, there have been reports that Holland won't be the only Spider-Man in the movie. That, at some point, the current Peter Parker will share a screen with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, the actors who preceded him in the role. We could be looking at a veritable peck of Peter Parker's. Spider-Man's, Spider-Man's, doing whatever spiders can. It goes on to say, the way in which these rumors have blossomed and mutated has been fascinating to watch, going from mere wishful thinking to being treated as cold hard fact in record time. 
There is now an expectation among Spider fans that Garfield and Maguire will show up at some point in No Way Home. Which you can't really blame us because, I mean, if they're opening up the multiverse and you have the villains from these universes, like, why would the heroes not come along with them? But I get it. You don't want to confirm anything. You know, I still think they're all going to show up in the second trailer. So I'm sure we will know more by then. They're in this movie. And listen to what Kevin Foggy says about this. Rumors Feige. are fun because many of them are true and many of them are not true. The danger is when you get into the expectations game of wanting people to be excited about the movie they get and not disappointed by a movie they didn't get. To me, Kevin Feige is playing it cool. I mean, it's Kevin Feige. He's the ultimate cool guy. But at this point in time, I've seen enough evidence for myself and have talked to enough insiders who have confirmed that both Toby and Andrew are in the film that I fully believe that they are coming. In fact, I've been told some pretty specific details about some scenes that unfortunately I can't reveal. But I love how Kevin Feige said rumors are fun because many of them are true. And the best part about this article is that, again, I mentioned before in the past, Sony and Marvel Studios have to sign off on what they publish. They have to agree to let them publish publish everything in this article so they read it all entirely before it goes out and if there's something in there that they don't like they say i love that suit so they let them put all of that stuff in there about andrew garfield about toby Maguire, kirsten dunce which is to me just another sign that they are in the film because they're not going to let them talk about it and get everybody's expectations up just for them to not be in the movie i can actually see kirsten dunce and emma stone being in like flashbacks where each peter is talking about their life after the movies where we last seen them, I don't think they're all gonna come through a portal or whatever, but I can see them being used in flashbacks. Just my opinion. Each day that passes by, like, the fan base is becoming more thirsty for a trailer. Shit, myself included, I need a trailer. I did hear that, you know, Sony would actually want to capitalize off the No Way Home hype, where they're gonna drop the Morbius trailer first, and we wouldn't even get a No Way Home trailer until after that. I think there's a chance that we even get a trailer around the time where the old Spider-Man movies are coming out on 4K. Sony and Disney are being very careful about how they are promoting this movie. You know, we haven't gotten that second trailer. We haven't gotten a poster. So I honestly feel like it's all gonna be at once. So them re-releasing all the other movies on 4K, like in a way that's still promoting No Way Home. So that does it for the video. Um, you know, do you like the images that came out today? Do you like the idea of Doc Ock having nanotech in his tentacles? Hell, do you even like the idea of that being a different Doc Ock than we last seen in Spider-Man 2? I personally don't, but I wanna hear what you think. And when are we gonna get this trailer? Comment down below when you think the trailer for No Way Home is going to come out. So don't forget, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and as always, I'll catch you next time.